Uh, are we ready? Alrighty. Alrighty, my Coagu check iron hour machine. Oh, this is being a pain. Let's see. Let's, let's just get rid of autofocus. Hang on. Let's do this again. There we go. Coagu check INR machine. Okay, hopefully it'll be autofocus. So, I have had a question, I uh, can't remember the chap's name, but wanting to know about my INR machine. Now, this is it, and it comes in a nice little package, like so. All right, now when I first purchased mine, I was very lucky, my surgeon bought it for me. They're a thousand dollars, mine's been working good ever since. I do get it checked now and again, and that's easy to do. You just go to your um, blood bank place, wherever they test blood, wherever they do INR, um, and you get your test done with them. And when they draw the blood, you stick one of your strips in, and you get them to stick a bit on there. And then when you get the results back the next day, you see what yours is, and if theirs is the same, then the calibration is hunky dory so I do that probably once a year or something. Um, so you get the machine now, now they're not a thousand dollars anymore by the way they are now 589 bucks I do believe let me just check 589 and that is on the Medi shop the med shop med shop .com .au. Um, and that is it basically you stick your strip in there which is these fellas here and I shall do a test in just a second so you get a box of 24 the one thing you got to remember with these is um, they don't last forever I think you only get six months so you got to use them up after they're away the strips I think from memory are about 130 bucks for a box of 24 um, and that's all they are you just pop them in there put your blood on that little bit of white plastic just there and um, it'll do its little thing and give you a reading. You also get a stabber. I don't like doing this for some reason. After all these years, no. And it's quite a sharp little point. Have a look at that little fella. It's quite sharp. Um, but anyway, you just have to do it. Um, that is pretty much it, really. So I guess I shall show you. Oh, it works, old lad. All right, so let's readjust the camera because you're going to need to see me down here, aren't you? How's that? There you go. All right, so let the magic begin. Um, so I always put it on a bit of an angle like this. Um, as soon as you put a strip in, it will turn itself on automatically. Now my INR is somewhere between 2.5 and um, 3, I think. Yeah, 2.5 and 3. So it should turn itself on. But it hasn't, but it is going to now. Um, now it is registering, you can see. So this little timer, it will then have a countdown of about a minute. That get, gets you ready to do the blood drop. And um, it's just thinking it will register. There's a little thing in there, that little button just there. No, sorry, just there. It's a little microchip that you get with each new set of strips, and it's got to correspond with the number on the side of it, which is um, where is it? which is there that code so there's a code there has to be corresponding and it will come up on the screen in a minute so the code is 378 waiting 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 while you're waiting for that to go sort of rub the old hands together get the blood going you know it's saying there's an error why is there an error Alright, so there's an error. Okay, so let's try again. 
Unfortunately, sometimes when you put one strip in, if it comes up with an error, it won't work. But I'll give it a go. Oh, here you go. So it's doing it all again. Oh, look. Three, seven, eight, which is what is on the packet there. So then all you do is press start. And it will now count down. And it will send off a little bleepy noise when you've got to put your blood on there. I don't like doing this bit. Now normally I only test mine in the mornings. Okay, first thing in the morning before I've eaten is normally when I test it. So this might be a little bit out. Okay, possibly out a little bit. I only test mine around about once every fortnight. Um, I'm trying not to do it too much. All right, so now it's saying it's given me 174 seconds to get the blood on there. All right, so. I'm ready to go. So that finger there is the one I prefer to pop. Anyone that's squeamish, look away now. Oh, I don't like doing that. Alright, so then you just get a bit on there. And it will say, working. That little bleep you just heard, is it saying that it's got the blood, thank you very much, and it's now registering it okay it's very simple look you can't go wrong it's pretty much the same as the ones for people that test their diabetes all right so i said 2.5 to 3 mine is at 2.3 inr okay so that is pretty much it um you now just pull that out it stores your readings in here, all your last ones, your latest ones, it stores them all in the memory. And um, I'll pop it away. Look, I'm not going to worry about that reading being low. I mean, it's not low, you know, 2.5 to 3. That's nothing to worry about. 2.5 to 3 is nothing to worry about because it's 2.3. Um, I shall just now check it in the morning because I prefer to do all my tests. First thing in the morning, as I said earlier, simply because, you know, you've got no food in your system as such. You've had all your meals, it's all digested, all the rest of it, and um, it's the best time to take them, I think. Um, so, I only check them every um, fortnight, you know, and that's pretty much it. Um, don't go panicking if it's out a little bit. It is going to fluctuate. It's always going to go up and down, up and down. Okay. Um, that's why get it at a time that you're happy with in the morning and do your check-in then. And look, they're bloody good. And I mean, look, for 589 bucks, saves you go into the um, blood bank every five minutes, which was a pain in the neck for me. Um, I love it. I think it's great. You can take it away with you. I'll take it on holiday with me. Um, it's all Ridgy Dig, and I will put the link to um, the website down in the description, and I will put it on the page where this machine is. And um, if you want to go and get yourself one, go and get it because it gets a thumbs up from me.